This is Food Fight, the show that gives food reviews for the fighting foodie. I'm your host, AJ, and I'll be exploring everything from meal preps to trendy snacks to see how it fits an inspiring fighter's lifestyle. Nutritional to original, ready to go or homemade, let's get ready for a fight, a food fight. So we are going to be making a cinnamon roasted sweet potato and onion with chicken over rice with a honey curry drizzle. And we are just picking up a few ingredients over at the grocery store that I don't have at home. It should be pretty simple, pretty quick, and pretty affordable too. So we're just going to get right into it and then get back to cooking because I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> to be making some cinnamon roasted sweet potato and onion with chicken over rice and with a honey curry drizzle sauce. Yes, I know it sounds like a mouthful. It sounds actually really, really bougie, but I promise you guys it's super simple to make. It doesn't take a lot of effort because guys, I'm not a high class chef of any sort. Only recently got better at cooking. Pretty much what I did, and you have to pick up a couple of ingredients, of course, if you don't have these at home. So I went to my local grocery stores and got some sweet potatoes over here. Got some yellow sweet onions or red onions, uh, the recipe that I saw online suggested depending on your taste of choice. And some rotisserie chicken because it is easy to break down already made tastes fantastic and again you can probably find this on your local grocery store or if not there's other chicken substitutes that you probably can find cook up your own or even canned chicken if you really need to as well as that you got your other oddballs here which is going to be your curry powder uh, for that sauce that we're going to be making cinnamon for our seasoning for our vegetables and also of course our honey and we're going with an orange blossom flavored one today so that should be fantastic and and including our normal condiments, which you should have had home if, if you don't already. I don't know what you're doing. Uh, get your salt, get your pepper, and of course, we're gonna be using some olive oil for today to help us cook along with it. Now, because I am Filipino, uh, we do have our rice cooking and ready at the, at the ready. But if you don't have rice, you can pick whatever kind of rice you want to have along with your chicken and vegetables here, whatever works for you, that's awesome. And we're gonna be using our air fryer to be cooking everything and prepping everything for today. And if you don't happen to have an air fryer, one, it's a really great investment to get, I think so. But two, you can use a toaster oven. You can even use your regular oven. And of course, if you don't have any of those, a stove top can probably do just as well as any of those things there. So I think that is it. I think we're all prepared. So let's get to cooking.
What the hell are you talking and you about? Said, and you said you would call them the Axle Kicks from now on? Because I still do. Yep. Why yeah, Axle yeah. Kicks, though? I didn't even know where that joke came we were from. talking about car stuff. Oh. And then we, uh, like, uh, he's, uh, something, uh, something Axel came up, and then we, uh, then the Axe Kick, and then we just called it Axel Kick. It's like, who could beat AJ? Uh, AJ. A only AJ could beat AJ. Oh, that was Cormac. Was like, oh, yeah. So I was like, nah. It was like, nah, Jackie Chan could beat AJ. <laughs> but then I was thinking about it, and I was like, you know what? I should say this. I should have said this instead. So I was gonna say, uh, if man could beat AJ pretty easily because she would fall asleep. Because <laughs> this movie was boring. I think the recent movie, the uh, recent Donnie Yen movie, The Raging Fire. I don't even know if any of you guys saw it by chance. No. Uh, like, I don't know what that. Well, maybe we'll save it for. No, uh, maybe we'll save it for a Patreon weird. watch. It was. Yeah. It was okay. Like, no, I was about to say, it was okay. Like, okay. It, the way you were saying that, the way you were saying that was making it sound like, it was making it sound like it was, you fell asleep in that movie too. I did, I did fall asleep, that's the first thing. Because Muay Thai, I'm going to cosplay this character, because he knows Muay Thai. Because G let me borrow the suit, which is awesome, right? I love G for that. And the fact that I can fit his older suits because he's now jacked G with like too much muscle and everything like that, I get to fit his older stuff, which makes me yeah, feel awesome because yeah, I can live out yeah, Jack, my Jack, dreams. Yeah, Jack G, Jack G is a pink ranger all pink yeah, dunks and pink, 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 pink. <laughs> I'm just saying. Make sure you have enough room today. If you guys were here yesterday for our Kickmas uh, live stream, I did make give a fair warning that we will need to be moving around a little bit more because I want to get a, more creative with our kick combinations for today. Uh, so. That being said, let's get warmed up since I want to get right to it. So we just got finished a live workout and the wonderful thing about having pre-prepped meals is that once you're finished doing the workout and you're tired, you don't have to worry about cooking. You literally just have to go to the fridge, grab your ready-made meal and pop it in the microwave for like a minute or so if that's something you need to preheat or you can even have this cold. I usually prefer dishes with like protein in it to be hot. So I, I like having it warmed up in the microwave. So we're just gonna try this out and see actually how it works definitely retain some of the flavor honestly what i like about saucy i guess saucy meats and, and foods the ones that kind of have those drizzles when it sits in itself it kind of like i guess makes it richer when you come back to it a couple days afterwards so in a weird way richester chicken is also a little bit dry sometimes so letting it sit in its own juices and the other juices of the vegetables actually kind of helped moisten it back up again and it tastes really good Vegetables might be a little bit more on the mushier side. I don't mind it as much. If you're someone that kind of likes more crunch to your vegetables, it might be don't cook it as long uh, when you're pre-prepping your meal. Kind of take into accountability if you're a person to heat up your food that you <laughs> you know, mind the texture of your, your food there. But overall, everything really tastes good. Rice is always good. No matter what state. Honestly, I can eat rice cold, hot, warm. But the combination of the two, Definitely works out, I think. I very much like it, and for the time that it took to prep everything, pretty simple, you guys saw it earlier. You cut up stuff, pop it in the oven for a little bit, let it roast, pack it into your Tupperware, and it's already good to go the next couple days. So I think this is a really simple, yet effective, yet super tasty and kind of bougie feeling uh, meal prep here. So I say it's a win-win, definitely for me. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Food Fight. I appreciate you guys supporting this channel and hope you guys enjoyed the show. If you liked this episode, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're ready for the next one. Also, please consider becoming a patron where you can enjoy exclusive perks like Patreon-only Discord chats, martial arts workouts, and maybe even a chance to be part of an episode. You can also check out our merch on Teespring, and more links are in the description if you'd like to support, or even check out ajkick101.com. And again, thank you for all the support and until next time, remember, keep on kicking. Bye guys.